the backhand is very similar to the glove hand side. We want to make sure that we take the proper angle to the ball, but it's a little more difficult because now we're going away from usually our target, which is either second base or first base, and it's probably the most difficult play in the game of softball. The initiating move in the backhand is just like the glove hand side. We need to make sure that we have a good crossover step. And we're going to start the crossover step with the pivot of our front foot, trying to get our hips and shoulders toward our target. Our target at this time is the ground ball. Now we're going to go to the ground ball and one of the things about the backhand is we want to try to get as low as possible as soon as we can. So when we cross over we're going to try to go take a good angle toward the outfield grass and we're going to backhand the ball only if we have no other choice. It's like a do or die. If we can get in front of the ball on the backhand side then we would like to get in front of the ball Okay, again feeling the ball out in front on the glove hand side and good infielders can load on their back foot and throw without taking a step. So anytime you can get in front of the ball, get in front of the ball. But this is a play that you can't get in front of the ball. You know it's a do or die play, you're going to have to backhand the ball. And the one thing that I want to urge infielders to do is learn how to field the ball off both their glove foot and their throwing foot because you don't have the luxury sometimes of picking which foot is going to get you there. So when we go and we get into our crossover, we're going to go as hard as we can and now we're going to make a decision on that ground ball. If we happen to get it off our glove foot side, the key element here is that we want to try to get as low as we can with our throwing leg. A lot of good infielders, you'll actually see them with the knee down toward the ground. This is important. This allows me to track the ball. If I'm bending at the waist again, I'm going to have a very difficult time, plus I'm not in a good athletic position. So we secure the ball off our glove foot side. The thing that I want to mention is, number one, we want to try to feel the ball out in front of us. Not back in here, but out in front. We want to use the elbow as a hinge. So if we do any giving with the ground ball, we want to hinge here. We don't want to hinge with our shoulder. Okay. The other thing is we want to secure the ball in the web. This is one time in the infield that you want to make sure you secure the ball in the web. The two important fingers in securing the backhand is your thumb and your pinky. If you can't squeeze the glove and close it with your thumb and pinky, then you're going to have a hard time securing the backhand. Okay? So we want to make sure that once we get to the ball, if it's off our glove foot, we're going to secure the ball then I'm going to step through with my right foot and try to get my foot down as quick as possible. I want to lower my front shoulder. I want to come up and make a good overhand throw. If I happen to get to the ball on the opposite foot, okay, the opposite foot meaning my throwing hand foot, I can save some time. Because if I get to the ball with my throwing hand foot, now all I've got to do is secure the ball, rock, and throw. One thing I want to urge young kids to do on the backhand, when you make your throw, most throws on the backhand have a tendency to go high. And the reason being is because it automatically puts your body in a position where your front shoulder is higher than your back shoulder. So we want to force kids to bring that shoulder down, but more importantly, if you make a mistake on your throw, make it in the dirt because if we throw it in the dirt, we still have a chance of picking it. If we throw it over their head, we usually give up another base. To review, fielding the ball backhand off of your glove hand foot. Take a good crossover step. Get low to the ground. Secure the ball out in front of your glove hand foot. Step through with your throwing hand foot. Lower your front shoulder and make a good throw. To field the ball backhand off of your throwing hand foot, take a crossover step. Get low to the ground. Secure the ball off of your throwing hand foot. Rock onto your glove hand foot and throw.